Hello, my name is Saurav Biswas. I'm a specialist solutions architect here at Amazon Web Services. And I work with the Amazon Document DB team. Today, we're going to talk about using IAM roles with Amazon Document DB, thereby simplifying and centralizing security management for your applications. So before IAM authentication was available for Amazon Document DB, this would be a typical scenario for your application. You'll deploy your application in some form of environment. In this case, we're using Amazon ECS. It could be Lambda or EC2 as well. And then your application needs to interact with two different data sources. So on the screen, you can see we have Amazon S3 for media storage and then we have Amazon Document DB for customer data. When it comes to authentication, the application will need to authenticate with Amazon S3 using IAM roles, but for Amazon Document DB, you'd be using username passwords using some kind of secure mechanism like Secrets Manager. However, from the application standpoint, you still need to maintain two different configurations. Recently, we launched IAM authentication integration for Amazon Document DB. What it means is that you now can use IAM roles and IAM users to authenticate against Amazon Document DB. Authorization is still part of the database itself. And also keep in mind the root user that you create while creating your cluster is still username password based. But for your application users, you can now use IAM roles and IAM users. So let's see how that application changes when you introduce IAM authentication. As you can see in the screen, now your application interacts with both Amazon Document DB and Amazon S3 using IAM roles. Let's look at the application design a little bit more. So earlier, your application would be running in a container or an EC2 instance, and it will run a piece of code, and that piece of code would provide the username password while trying to connect to Amazon Document DB. Now, when you simplify, the application will just authenticate using an existing IAM role attached to the EC2 instance, or you can create another IAM role and attach it to the EC2 instance as well, and thereby you'll be able to achieve passwordless authentication. Let's look at the steps that you need to do in order to switch from using a password based mechanism to IAM roles. First, you'll have to link your IAM role to Document DB. To do that, you log in using the root user, which is still using a password. So let's say you log in using MongoShell. Once you're in MongoShell, you switch to the dollar external database. It's important to use this because that is how the mechanism is established. And then you pass the ARN of your IAM role as the user, and the mechanism is hard coded to MongoDB AWS. And with these parameters, when you execute the create user command, your IAM role is linked to document DB. From the application side, it's a small change. In fact, there is no code change required. All you need to do is go and update your configurations. The document DB URI that you use right now will be replaced by the one that you see on the screen. You still pass the cluster endpoint, but you do not pass any username password. As you can see at the end of the URI, we have also added two parameters, auth source and auth mechanism. These two, have the same values that you've used in the user command, dollar external for auth source and MongoDB AWS for auth mechanism. You may also notice that I've used URI escape for the dollar external value. Uh, depending on your application, you may or may not need to use it. So this was a short introduction, but if you want a more detailed hands-on experience, please go to the sample code I've highlighted on the screen there you can find a CloudFormation template that will set up an environment for you to try out IAM roles with a sample Python code. Thank you again for today's session. I hope it was helpful and do let me know how you'll be using IAM roles for your applications 
and reach out to me in case you have any questions.